right, let's open up the 1995 Leaf One, uh, Leaf Series One baseball pack. And if you're on YouTube, you can see that it's got all different colors. Pretty cool looking pack at the time. These were $2.89 a pack, which just seems unbelievable. Um, I don't know if you can hear that sound, but if you can, sorry about that. Sounds like there's something in the background. But uh, we're going to keep on going through this. So we got all the different colors. You got some red, black, yellow, blue, white. Um, and uh, it says baseball on the side there. And then Major League, every regular card has a holographic foil stamp because they've been doing that since 89. That was their big thing. Um, 12 cards, hobby pack. And it's also part of the Donruss company. So you see it says Donruss right there too. So Leaf was Donruss too. Uh, owned by them, I guess. Um, we're going to open this up. So we find that Hideo Nomo or some of those other special insert cards. All right, right away, we got a, these are pretty cool looking cards. Right away, we got a Frank Thomas, the number one card in the set, looks like. Nice. We got the number one card in the set first. Frank Thomas, he was their big spokesman. That's a, that's a cool card there. So, oh yeah, I don't know if it said who won here. We got Tim Widener. I believe he might have won another time. So, Tim, you were going to be getting some cards. Um, episode 46, so you can go back and listen to this if you want. So we got Frank Thomas, got that beautiful picture on the front, and then it's got actually two different pictures of him on the back. And uh, this is a smaller set of, I think we said 408 cards. Has a little bit of his career. It looks like it has one year of his stats and then um, his whole career. Wow, 1994, he hit 353 with 38 homers and 101 RBIs. And he had a 326 career batting average at that point. So that's Frank Thomas. Next card. Trevor Hoffman, great saves guy. Didn't seem like he ever threw that hard, but he could get some serious saves, I'll tell you that. So, yeah, it looks like everyone on the back, every card has two other pictures, so there are three all together. That was probably the report for him. Dean Palmer. Marcus Moore. Eddie Williams. Randy Myers, checking something quickly here, just making sure I was still recording. Um, Mark, Mark Kiefer, Gary, no, not Gary, <laughs> it's, Gary. it's hard to read these, they're in cursive, pretty cool looking though, Javi Lopez, and if you're not watching, um, it says the, the name of the team down the side in, in like a silverish color. It looks pretty cool. Some of them are, well, it looks like they're all silver. So this one says Royals down the side, really big. And then it's got, actually has four pictures, two on the front, two on the back. A little picture of their face. This, this is Kevin Apier. And then an in-action photo and then a couple of action photos on the back. Um, this is Kevin Apier. Oh, the one that Kurt was talking about the other day. Another another pull of Chili Davis. Chili Bowl. Chili Davis. He's a good hitter. And here is a team checklist. This is what a team checklist looks like. It's got the checklist of all the guys on the team that are in this. Oh, wait. This is just a check. Not a team checklist. This is just the cards because there's only 204 cards in each series, so 208. So this has numbers 1 through 67. So that's one of the checklists for all the cards. And the final card, not Hideo Nomo, no type of great insert or anything, but still fun to rip open the pack, is Rick White. All right. Thanks for watching that video of me opening those packs of 1995 Series 1 Leaf. And we're going to go finish up the episode 